Our next lesson will review how to filter data that includes null values. When we were learning how to use the count keyword, we learned that we could include or exclude non-missing values depending on whether or not we use the asterisk in our query. But what is a missing or non-missing value? In SQL, null represents a missing or unknown value. Why is this useful? In the real world, our databases will likely have empty fields either because of human error or because the information is not available or is unknown. Knowing how to handle these fields is essential as they can affect any analyses we do. For example, we used count all with an asterisk on the left. Suppose our goal is to analyze posthumous success using data from the people table. We might make the wrong assumption that because we have a field name called death date, this information is available for everyone. Half of them are in fact null, as we can see on the right. So we would make an inaccurate judgment on what the data means. One quick way to see how much of our data is missing is by using is null with the where clause. Here is an example where we have checked to see which names do not have a recorded birth date in our table. On the left is an example of counting the missing birth dates in the people table. The count is 2245. Sometimes we'll want to filter out missing values, so we only get results that are not null. To do this, we can use the isNotNull operator. For example, this query on the right gives the count of all people whose birth dates are not missing in the people table, giving us a new count of 6152. There may be a question about the difference between using count with a field name and using the same count with the added where clause with isNotNull. The answer is there is no difference, as both will be counting non-missing values. Before we wrap up this lesson, let's review what we've learned. Null values are missing values, and they are very common in the real world. It is good practice to know how many null values are in our data by using the isNull or isNotNull operator for filtering. These keywords will help to identify, select, or exclude missing values. Don't worry, this will soon become second nature because it is that common. Music